Okay guys, I am here. This is Amber from Family Life coming from uh, Ontario, Canada. It's about minus three, which seems a lot warmer than it actually is. The wind is terribly bad, so it feels like minus 30 Celsius. Anyways, I am just coming to you to let you know this video this week is kind of sharing some of our family traditions. That big log there, you'll see it in a sec. And he hit that. <laughs> that this this this, this the, the, that giant log right in front of us. It's Christmas time of year. Our families by the fire. Snuggled up like bunnies in the snow. It's Christmas. Christmas. Little birds are singing like a choir. Winter chill is nipping at your nose. We're off. You filming? We're filming. Okay, so. Peace be with you. <laughs> undoing my wife's lovely tree because it's beautiful. just don't want to undo it to redo it because I can never do a tree as nice as hers. It's beautiful. It's, it's a, the lights on it are gorgeous. The, um, the tree itself is just stunning. It looks like a real tree actually. I'm going to be heartbroken if we can't when we take all these decorations off. But my MacGyver husband <laughs> will likely fix well, once it. Once I get it all off, I'll be able to find the problem. We'll find the problem. My sweet husband put just a band-aid solution and threw some of these LEDs inside of the tree just so that there was some sense of light in the tree. And now those have gone out. Um, so yeah, I'm not sure what is happening. The Christmas tree is such a symbol of the holiday season. It tells such a cute story of everybody in the home and I thought I would just share some of our beautiful decorations with you. This here is probably one of my favorite decorations. Um, not for the symbolic fact that it's it's the Hanlon family um, and it has all of us on here, but I don't know if you can notice here, this is, um, this is broken. This was the year Eli was born and this ornament kind of symbolized completing our family. Uh, we knew Eli would be our last child and that he, uh, he in essence completed the acronym. So it was a pretty special ornament, but what happened and why it's broken is a real tree, and we often did have tr real trees. It just tumbled in the night and it fell down and crashed. Most of all of my ornaments broke. I was incredibly heartbroken. It was on Chris the eve, or actually the night of Christmas because Frank's family was coming on Boxing Day and I had um, stepped out just to go get some decorations while the, the sales were on for the year after. And when I came, 
Frank had had a new tree up and decorated with what was salvaged from the old tree, so it was quite special. What we think may have happened, and this might have happened to other people, is I think when you decorate a real tree, the weight shifts and, the, and it um, loses the, the moisture and such. But when you decorate a tree, you often decorate the front and or around the sides and you don't do the back. So you kind of make it unbalanced or securing it to the wall. It's very possible you will lose your ornaments as it may fall over. So let me show you around some of the other ornaments. Um, this was... This was, one of the things I like to do is collect ornaments for the places that we visit. And this is the Biltmore House um, in Asheville that we visited. It was a beautiful mansion. This here it was handmade by Eli. We love Disney, but most specifically, we absolutely love the Fort Wilderness. And that's and my babies. That's Mitchell and Lucas when they were little. Here's the key to the kingdom. This is the Disney one as well. There's this one here was just a little ornament my sister-in-law made and put on a Christmas present. She also made this. Oh my gosh, this is a beautiful little ornament from her symbolizing the passing of our girlfriend who passed away from cancer back in 2017. Our little Elsa. <laughs> this was one I think Frank had given me a few years ago. This is a beautiful one. The saying on there says, I love you not only for what you are, but what I am when I'm with you. It was a pretty one. These ones here are the ones I think, this is dated. Um, they're really heavy ornaments and they're beautiful. And I, I, a lot of those I was able to salvage. Most, most of them did break. Um, but I had a few and I've been collecting them since as well. But um, they are really heavy and I think that might have been the contributing factor. So I kind of make sure that when I'm putting them on now, I, I put them around. But majority of the ornaments we buy now are non-breakable. <laughs> this that I, I bought after our tree fell because I just love the glass ornaments. Of course, this is a gorgeous... Uh, Mickey head. We got this one here from Mitchell when he graduated. Um, but Mickey lost his nose. This was a ornament I picked up when we did our Christmas in New York. Uh, this is Eli's Steamboat Willie. He picked that out. I let the boys pick out their own ornaments. I think this one was Ethan's. He picked this one out. Oh, here's another handmade ornament for my sister-in-law. Or maybe Marion. Joseph and Baby Jesus. This brings one that we got when we stayed there. Um, it was a beautiful hotel. Would absolutely go back there. And this was Christmas in New York. I'm going to throw this one out because Eli handmade this one. But sign of sky, chewing it up. It was on the bottom of the tree one year, and sky got at it. Eli seems to think it might have been Charlie. I don't know what it is with Mickey's nose. He keeps falling off. Hmm. Here's another one by Eli. I love the handmade ornaments. <laughs> Unfortunately, I don't have many handmade ones from Mitch and Luke because we had a flood a few years back and Unfortunately, we didn't, uh, weren't able to salvage them. And I lost a lot of those beautiful ornaments that the boys, the older boys, had made it's as well. The ornament that Ethan's girlfriend just gave me this year it was beautiful. Oh, Grandma gave me this one. Christmas cheer in a mug. This is my, my angel that I put up on top this year. I like the buffalo plaid and the feathery wings because I put this feathery boa throughout, kind of adding a little bit of dimension to the tree. I kind of liked Just, it. Oh, also too. You know the, the, the tails of the, the spider? I don't know if you can see this spider here. Here's this. It's a hand beaded little spider. I put it at the top of the tree. The story yeah. goes um, when Jesus visited he was afraid. The guests would be a little roast out by the, the cobwebs on the tree, so he adorned the cobwebs with a touch of glitter and silver, and that's what we refer to today as tinsel. That's a little neat story. We hide a dill pickle in our tree every year, 
and I think we hit it so well this year, nobody could find it, including me. <laughs> I do not remember where I put it. Give a gift to whoever can find the dill pickle. But this year, we couldn't find it, so they don't think I put it on. <laughs> Anyways, this is our tree. I hope you enjoyed a, a nice reflection of the holidays. The, the whole family loves to go to Disney. It's kind of something that we've... Uh, We've cherished and we've enjoyed each uh, each family vacation there a little differently. Lucas actually got engaged right in in um, Walt Disney World, right in front of the castle. It holds a special place for us, and so Disney at Christmas is just ah, uh, it's just my favorite place to be. So um, when our trip got canceled this year, unfortunately, I was to run a half marathon with my oldest son. So I figured, you know what? Let's kind of make our Christmas cookies have a little bit of a flair with the Disney um, theme with Mickey head. Okay, so I like to choose to flood my sugar cookies in a chocolate rather than in the um, icing sugar flood. I find it's a little less sweet, but that's just a personal choice. And why I like to um, use the double boiler system. I mean, you could certainly use the microwave. Some people um, like to do that. So it's not an even temperature. This is an easy way um, to not burn the chocolate and we can melt it at a more controlled pace and it doesn't burn it and it's just, it goes nice and, you know, smooth. So now, um, now that the, the chocolate is kind of almost just about there, I'm just going to bring this down to um, a very low heat, almost off, like right to the lowest temperature it can go, and just let it stay hot, and start dipping my co my cookies and decorating them. Like um, my mom was planning on going across the country skiing today, but it's Christmas. I got a new toy. It's about the kids. It's always about the kids. I got about 10 more minutes in me and then it's time for hot chocolate. Well, after this it's dad's turn. After this it's your turn. Oh yeah. You're in a heated tractor. You're crazy. like to make those raviolis that would be nice and oh. he said no thank you <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't really a... i kind of got the feeling that you were asking me and i was like no I think I'm okay would you like ravioli for dinner no i'm good i'm good thank you Thank 
that we bought from Costco. They're already pre-made and it comes with the icing, the royal icing, but it's never enough and this stuff doesn't really have the same consistency. So I'm making my own royal icing. So I've already whipped up my eggs and I'm just adding my icing sugar and some cream of tartar. This kind of helps um, make it nice and fluffy and white. And I am just going to get going and do the rest of the ice cream. Here we go. They will be here shortly. I know more about the office. They have gotten one for him already. You don't know where. like, uh, we may have already got one of those. Well, that's the price. You guys have one of those? I think I, I got one. one for Christmas. Oh, no. <laughs> So, you get two? Okay, so still, you need to work towards earning it. <laughs> yeah, but am I automatically out of the it's running? It's not the exact <laughs> It's like, come on, baby, just hold on for just a little bit longer. Stop crying, my baby. Come on. I'd say Nicole's got a little bit. He's just done, though, eh? He's tapped out. I don't think he ever tapped in. I don't think <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Oh, did he do the Christmas trees? Yeah, I'm the one the off sword. Actually, I don't. They're all, could be dad they're all pretty baby. good. Could be There's your room. Oh, yeah. Could be grandma. Oh, squish your head. Of icing. Now Shorter finish. size, or is that your front side? Is that your only side? <laughs> we have a good side. Or bad side. <laughs> is that your bad side? Where's your good side? That's your only side. That's your only side. All right. <laughs> those are cute. But look at the gingerbread man I did. Oh, let me see. Come on. I let did those. those. Let me see. I did both you of them. Your chili, I see. Sure, I'll let you have the credit for both of them there, Skip. I was gonna say the green one looks a little like maybe Grandma might have done. I need a jujube. -jub. Can anybody spare a jujube? -jub? What did Ash do for you? I, I, got, I, got, I, I have a whole a tray of, of jelly beans there in the middle. I did the what? Going over now. Sorry, I Let me one. come. I'm coming. What you do? Yeah. I don't know. About the people. Those are cute. I don't know. Competition's pretty stiff, Luke. Start heading it up. This is a one man job, man. Oh, you're the only one that got the door. Oh, no, you they all have the dormer on. Down. Look at that. Nice, yeah, they all have dormers on, but they nice. had four hands to do it. I did mine with two hands. Oh. And now I'm in trouble. No, it was a pain in the patootie, so he didn't bother. Oh. What are you putting up There's there? No are you putting up, I need. You, I think you need to put your um, I'm you need peppermint your patty thingies up there. Except we're going to do tea. So why do you deserve to win? Guys, look at my <laughs> <laughs> I don't even need to say nothing. I like, well, I got a pretty bum walkway. <laughs> that's no, that's it's a, proper. An angle. Yeah. Yeah. I want to see this qualify because you took too. That's long. the angle there. You got a nice yeah, wreath up in there. Yeah. Got the nice TP. 
there for when. Okay, look at everyone else's that. trees. Look at that so tree. Been... Are you serious? Uh, look at that. Put family on the front. Look yeah, but family on his too, but it's a shitty walkway. Yes, yeah, so we got. Oh, oh and it's all four sides. Yeah, oh. none of the. Oh, oh. Grandma and Ethan, Eli. Oh. Oh. I can walk on my walkway. The back sides aren't very pretty, pretty. except for that. Yeah. Things I for all lang syne. Cup of 